With Rivers gone, Taylor and Easton Stick are currently the only quarterbacks on the roster. Of the two, Taylor is the only one to have any experience. Stick was a fifth-round pick out of North Dakota State last year. He did beat out Cardale Jones for the third and final quarterback spot a year ago. And we really wanted to have a general manager on this morning to talk about his team and, of course, the, the draft rules here. And here is Chargers general manager Tom Telesco, good enough to get up very early for us on the West Coast. And, Tom, I really appreciate it. We'll get to your team in a second, but we're talking about the draft being run virtually, the NFL announcing that yesterday, and it's definitive. So you'll be running this draft from home. Uh, so to you, as a general manager, how will that make things different for you? Well, first of all, it's not a virtual draft to us. I mean, it's real. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be unique. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, but uh, the more we put into this, the more we plan for it. I think we have a good plan for this. Um, it's gotten a little bit exciting as far as how this is going to all plan out. I've been doing this for a long time. Been a lot of draft, draft rooms before, never anything like this before. Um, but we have a good plan to keep everybody connected, at least internally, uh, probably through a lot of video conferencing. So between if anyone's been in a draft room or seen a draft room, I mean, you have ownership in there. You have your front office, you have your head coach, Anthony Lynn. Um, our assistant coaches aren't in the draft room, but they're a big part of the draft. And then our college scouts, our pro scouts, our doctors. So it's a lot of people internally to keep in contact with. We'll have a plan for that. Um, how we connect with the other teams and, and, and talk with them. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge that we'll work through. Uh, honestly, right now, it's probably going to be a little bit of a family affair for us. I may have my kids on the phone taking phone calls. Uh, I'll probably negotiations with my wife on what her role is going to be <laughs> on draft weekend. But uh, it's all hands on deck right now. Uh, it, it's fascinating. We just had Adam Schefter on. We were talking about the ways in which it might be evident to the fan that this was different. Because at the end of the day, I think most fans care about what players wind up where and less about the mechanics of how you're going about doing it. In what ways do you think it might actually influence the way the draft plays out? It's an unknown, Greeny. I, I just don't know. I mean, it's, this is something we've never had to do before. We haven't had a lot of lead-up time to prepare for this. Um, you know, we've been looking at this for a couple of weeks. We knew this was a possibility, so we were... We put it, we were in planning mode, but I just don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's completely new for all of us, but I think we, we put a pretty good plan together. We feel good about it. Um, we'll probably test it next week, go through some different scenarios, but uh, our planning process with how we've been meeting with the scouts and the coaches have pretty much, much been unaffected in the fact, other than the fact that we can't meet face to face. Uh, but no, it's a little bit of an, un an unknown right now. Uh, quickly, Adam Schefter mentioned that, that the possibility that we'll see fewer trades. You just mentioned that your communications with other teams is one of the pieces of this you can't really work on as much ahead of time. Do, do you believe we might see fewer deals made as a result of that? I mean, I guess it's a possibility, but it's just hard to know right now um, as far as how, how that's going to play out. Um, in the end, I think everybody has their job to do. and I think it's probably going to probably function the way you normally see it. Um, on draft weekend, I mean, for us, it's going to be a lot different. But, you know, we're, we'll still be able to contact other GMs, other front offices. We'll have phone numbers for everybody. Um, like I said, I may have my son Nicholas on one of the phones, my son Thomas on one of the other phones. But uh, it will all get done in the end. Let's we'll see which one of them winds up making the big trade that you guys are looking to make. Let, let's talk about the quarterback situation. We just ran through it. There's been a lot of attention paid to that. How do you feel about your quarterback situation right now? What are you looking to do? Well, look, we, we have confidence in, in Terod Taylor. And uh, just as important, our teammates and his teammates have confidence in Terod. So um, that's where we are right now, and, and we're very happy with that. And, and other than that, I mean, we're in really pretty much all draft focus right now. I mean, free agency goes on forever, obviously. Free agency never ends. But the main part of free agency is kind of passed, and now we're strictly in draft mode. But, uh, um, no, we're excited about Tyrod. We, we think he can do a lot of things for us. Anthony Lynn has a lot of confidence in him, and we'll, we'll be ready to go. Understood. There is one free agent, though, that people continuously link with your team, and, and, and Tyrod Taylor himself posted a photo recently of himself working out with Cam Newton. They've known each other a long time. What conversations have you had about Cam? Well, like Cam and like almost every player that comes available, we always talk about things internally. Um, but like I said before, we're very co confident in, in Tarad Taylor to run our offense the way we want it to run. And uh, you know, we'll always monitor what's available out in free agency and on the street. But you know, right now, it's really 100% draft focus. And obviously, with the logistics going on with this draft this year from home, it's, it's taking us a little extra time and work. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.